The MERIT trial stands for the Multi-Center ESG Randomized Interventional Trial, or MERIT. And this is the first randomized controlled trial looking at the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty, or ESG. The MERIT study is a really important study because it's the first rigorous, high quality randomized study looking at ESG. So we know that the ESG procedure works, but we need to prove that it works. And the way that we can prove it is by conducting a randomized controlled trial. So what does controlled mean? You really need to compare the ESG procedure against a control group. Here at True U Weight Loss, our patients lose a lot of weight with ESG. In fact, 21% of their body weight at a year, which is very significant. But what if we're just so good here at True U Weight Loss that patients would lose that amount of weight even if they didn't have the procedure? That's what we need to show. So we actually have to have a group of patients go through the entire program, the same diet and lifestyle adjustment and exercise without having the procedure. So then we can compare what the effect is of ESG compared to all those other changes. So that's a control group. The next most important aspect of, the, of this type of study is that patients must be randomized to either receive the treatment, ESG, or to be in the control group. So they enter the study and then they're randomly assigned to either ESG or control. And that's really important because randomization eliminates differences between the two groups. So the MERIT study was a nine center randomized controlled study. It involved 208 patients across nine centers and the patients were followed for two years. This was a two year study. This is very rigorous. It took a lot of time to conduct all with the goal of proving how well ESG works. So how do we know if the ESG actually works? Well, there's actually predefined thresholds that we need to meet. Specifically with endobariatric weight loss procedures, it was determined years ago by leaders in gastroenterology and bariatric surgery that patients should lose a minimum of 25% of their excess weight. So patients who had the ESG procedure lost an average of 49% of their excess weight. So remember the threshold was 25%, Patients lost essentially double that. Compare that to the control group where the average patient lost 4% of their excess weight. So that's a 45% difference in weight loss and very significant. Interestingly, the study was designed as what's known as a crossover study. So patients entered the study, they were randomized to either ESG or control, they were followed for a year. After one year, the control patients could actually cross over and receive the ESG procedure. And those patients lost the same amount of weight, 50% of their excess weight. The other major threshold that we look at is safety. So we know endoscopic procedures are much safer than traditional bariatric surgery. So we set a really low number for complications. Specifically, these procedures should have a less than 5% complication rate. And in this case, there were three total complications, which was about 2%. So overall, well below that 5% threshold, showing that it's a very safe procedure. We also see lower than average complication rates here at True U Weight Loss. In fact, we've seen three complications out of 1,100 ESGs, so that's 0.3%, significantly lower than the 2% that was seen in the MERIT study. So the most important impact of the MERIT study is that it essentially proves that ESG works. This is a major advance for the field. We now have these really effective tools. ESG is incredibly effective at helping patients lose weight, especially for patients who don't want surgery. And the fact is most patients who need to lose significant weight don't want bariatric surgery and we need additional tools. With the MERIT study, we've proven that the ESG is one of those tools and in fact is the leading non-surgical tool to help patients lose weight.